This looks like a tiny version of those jungle gyms you see at the park. What in the world is it and why are we talking about it with dog training? This is called a Holy Roller and it's made by JW Pets. It's one of my favorite dog toys. I think it's the best dog ball you'll ever own. And if you don't own one yet, the link to get yours is below. Now, I know you know how much we love puzzle toys and enrichment toys for dogs, but if you're like me, you're probably wondering when the money truck is gonna pull up and drop off all the cash you need to pay for all of these dog toys. Well, that's why I like this one in particular. There are so many things you can do with it. And if you aren't feeling so creative today, stick with me. I'm gonna show you endless fun your dog can have with this toy as we repurpose it. Michelle here with How to Train a Dream Dog. Welcome to my Holy Roller Ball Review. Before we jump into the fun, you should know that I was not paid to create today's video. I bought this toy at full price a long time ago. I am just super passionate about helping new puppy owners with their puppy raising. And I wanna give you a few more fun ideas today. Now, if you watched a few videos on my channel, you'll know I love to tell you how to DIY fun and easy dog toys. And because I love new puppy owners so much, I also created this awesome resource for you. It's called the New Puppy Starter Kit. And if you have a brand new puppy, you need to have this digital kit. Potty training, some important socialization advice, and even a training game are all there for you, for free. So just like all the things I mentioned today, the link is in the description below. All right, let's get started with 10 fun things you can do with this simple toy. Now, I have the large sized, the medium sized, and even a few of my team members also have the bone shaped one. So any of them are gonna work out for you with all of these ideas we have today, but I really recommend that you get the ball shaped large size. You're gonna see why it's worth the cost with all these great ideas coming up. All right, first option, make a rolling licky mat. A lot of my students like to line the inside of the Holy Roller with a light smear of peanut butter, cream cheese, or pumpkin, and watch the pup lick out the treat. So experiment with different foods to see which one really makes your dog want to work hard for it. Now, we really love this activity because the dog has to be really creative with how to get some of the inside parts licked clean. And when it's done, it's easy to wash up and put away for the next time. This toy is safe on the top shelf of your dishwasher. All right, number two. Ball in a ball. <laughs> What's better than one ball? How about two? Put another ball inside the Holy Roller and watch your dog have double the fun. Now the extra movement can create some excitement and encourage some fun fetching. Just remember to add in a little mental work with your fetching so the dog doesn't become overstimulated. If you're not familiar with why that's important or how to do it, check out this video. And if you have a high energy dog, you don't wanna miss that one. Side note. Do you know that not all dogs know how to fetch naturally? Recently, at our pro level of my online course, we taught our students how to teach their dogs fetch. We actually have weekly lessons on great topics like that. And if you wanna be in the community of dog owners who are learning awesome training games, tips, and techniques, check out the course. The link's below. All right, the next idea, I call this one the rolling snuffle mat. Now, if you've spent any time on my channel, you know that we are big fans of snuffle mats. Snuffle mats encourage the sniffing that dogs naturally love to do, and it lowers their heart rate and helps them calm too. Most snuffle mats are flat, but they don't have to be. Let's make it move. Now, you can get some fleece or fabric and cut it into strips, maybe about an inch and a half wide by about seven inches long. Loop the strips through the holes and keep the strips close together. Hide the treats in the folds and watch the fun. This is great to use for mealtimes with kibble or treats for a cool down activity. Number four, I call this idea rags to rolls. So if cutting up fabric strips seems like it's just too much work, I got you. Take some rags or old towels and lay them flat. Sprinkle in a few pieces of treats or kibble, roll it up and then weave it through the holy roller. Some Holy Rollers are bigger than others, so if you haven't bought one yet, try to get one that has some bigger holes in it, which is gonna make this process easier. All right, the link to purchase that is in the description below. Pro tip, 
The microfiber or the bar towels, they're often thinner and easier to roll in the small diameters that fit into the holes. Next, we love some pull apart fun. So take a few smaller, tough plush toys, shove them inside the holy roller, and let your dog pull them out. Cheer him on to encourage him to stay focused on this next level activity. This does work great with some new plush toys that add some novelty and also the ones that squeak. Idea number six is to use it as a treat dispenser. Fill the small holy roller with treats that your pup has to work to get out and consume. Use a variety of treat sizes for maximum enjoyment. All right, are you loving these ideas? My team and I love to help you and your dogs have tons of fun. If you love it and you love us, show us. Subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, drop a comment, or leave us a super thanks. We do respond personally to every comment. Next, we've got the classic hide and seek. We recently taught the students enrolled at the pro level how to do a fun find it game with their dogs. Now this would be a great find it item for that mental brain work. So you're gonna hide the ball in an easy to find spot, like in a box or under a kitchen chair and encourage your dog to find it. You're gonna level up to tougher find it spots, which will differ for each dog depending on their skill level. Now, when the dog gets good at his game, make it more of an obstacle course where the dog has to move through something or get behind something to find the ball. Moving on to idea number eight, use this as a tug toy. Now, we always recommend getting some distance between puppy mouths and human hands. Puppies aren't very good with spatial awareness and in the excitement, it's easy to get scratched from a puppy land shark tooth. <laughs> so I want you to tie some fleece or rope material onto your ball. Now encourage your pup to engage and tug with the new toy. Remember that with tug, the human is the holder and the puppy is the tugger. This helps to protect the dog's neck and spine. Let the dog win. All right, ready for idea number nine? Make the holy roller into a pinata. You can attach a rope to the ball using a carabiner hook and then attach the rope to the opposite side of a door handle. Then you're gonna close the door and encourage your pup to tug at the ball. Experiment with different locations. Now you can also turn this fun ball into a flirt pole. Using an old broomstick and a long piece of rope, attach a rope to one end. Add a carabiner hook to the other end and attach the holy roller. Let the chasing begin. Don't forget to allow your dog to win sometimes. All right, this is amazing mental exercise for dogs and physical too. Dogs love to chase and this ball is easy to grab onto. And when dogs win and catch their prey, it's the best game ever. If some of these ideas were new to you, you might not be thinking like a dog just yet. Humans play very differently than dogs, but if we get into their heads a little bit, we can learn how to create fun games that they enjoy. Some dogs don't like to play with other dogs, or it's just a nice variety to play with humans. And it's also good to teach your kids the best way to play with a dog. If that sounds like something you'd like to do, you should definitely head to this video next. You'll learn how a dog thinks and likes to play and the best way to use play to teach great manners. And good play leads to great naps. All right, this is the fun side of dog ownership. Check out that video. In the comments, tell me if you've got a holy roller. Did I miss any fun games that you've created with your dog? Drop a comment and tell me all about it. This is Michelle Lennon, your favorite online dog trainer and holy roller fan signing off.